afternoon to anybody who finds their way to this video today. Now, if you're here and you're watching this, more than likely you suffer from a disorder called depersonalization or derealization. Now, I've made a couple videos in the past about this, and by past, I mean like it's been two and a half, three years since I've made a video on depersonalization. Now, the ones that I've made before, some people seem to have liked, um, and at the time that I had made them, I was deep in it, like fully locked in depersonalization, fucking having a really bad time. Um, three years down the road, I still have it, but it's so much better. Um, I don't have any of the weird, scary, crazy thoughts. Um, it's more of just like a fog. Um, I lack motivation, really. Um, my emotions are a little more numb than they would be. I wouldn't say a little more. I'd say a lot more than they would be if I didn't have depersonalization at all. But it's so much better than it was before. Now, with that being said, I am pretty sure that I would have been cured by now if I didn't try to self-medicate for the past two years with alcohol. I'm 26 years old. I'm an adult. I can do that. Uh, but I don't recommend it at all. Um, I'm pretty sure that that's why I'm still locked in it because I would treat my depersonalization with alcohol. Mainly at night. I was never a day drinker. Um, I have a full-time job that I have to go to and work at. So I couldn't really drink during the day, plus that's just not me. But at nighttime, I would just get wasted, even by myself or if I went out with friends. Alcohol made me feel real again. Um, but at the same time, I'd wake up and the hangover would make me feel like shit. And it would also cause more noticeable anxiety. Like I'd be getting panic attacks and blah, blah, blah. So recently I have stopped drinking um, and I feel so much better. Like I don't get any of the panic attacks during the day anymore. Um, the anxiety has gone way down and I can feel my motivation coming back. Um, so it's great. So if you get anything out of that little rant about my personal life and how I decided to personally self-medicate myself and my disorder called depersonalization, take from take from it that you just shouldn't do it. Don't do that. Do not drink alcohol. If you're over the age or under the age, whatever, do not drink alcohol. With that being said, just don't even take any medications for it. You don't need it. You don't need any of that. Just my best recommendation to you is exercise. Get out there, exercise, you know, find things to take your mind off of depersonalization. You need to occupy your mind, okay? You need to get out there and take a class, do karate, exercise, read a book, you know, anything. Just take your mind. I used to binge watch TV shows to take my mind off it. Anything to make me not think about what was going on in my mind, okay? I know how scary this can be. Coming from somebody who has dealt with depersonalization for a long time, trust me, I know all the ins and outs of it. I even went to the ER one night for it when I first got it, um, and they stuck me in a psych ward for a night, and they wouldn't even let me leave until they evaluated me and made sure that I wasn't crazy. I thought I was crazy. That's when I went to the ER and told them. I was like, look, I think I'm going crazy and I don't know what to do about it. And one thing you don't go to the ER and do is tell them that you think you're going crazy because they will lock you in a psych ward until they figure out if you are really crazy or not. So, let me leave you off on this video with a positive message, okay, about deep personal. That is that it does get better. It's so much better. You just have to believe that it will, and you have to not let the fear of it not getting better overcome you. I said this once before in a previous video, and it makes so much sense. If you know anything about a Chinese finger trap, right? It's those things you put your fingers in both sides, and then when you pull, if the harder you pull, the more your fingers get locked into it, right? But if you just ease your way out, you can let your fingers free. That's how depersonalization works. It's the anxiety. If you create more anxiety, the more your 
you're going to lock yourself in depersonalization. You have to just slowly ease your way out, okay? It's going to take some time, but just do not let the fear of depersonalization lock you in it. It's going to get better. You just have to allow it. It's only depersonalization, okay? And I know that people are like, how can you say it's only depersonalization? Because it is. I've said this once before, and I mean it. It's not going to kill you, okay? It's not going to be here forever. It doesn't stop you from doing everything you need to do in life. I can tell you that straight up because I've gone to my full-time job every day and never called out because of depersonalization. I've called out because I've been sick. I've called out even because I've been really hungover, but never because I couldn't go to work because of depersonalization. So, it'll get better. Trust me. Please trust me. Do not let this fear keep you trapped in depersonalization. It gets better and you can fully recover from depersonalization, okay? I know that you're probably going on forums and stuff and reading all this about other people's experiences and I did the same thing and then you come across somebody who says they've been in for 10 years. Yes, that's a possibility, all right? It's a very likely possibility. But the reason I feel like these people are stuck in it for so long is they keep dwelling on it. They don't just accept it and just let it happen. Just let it be there. Just experience it. Let it, you know, just don't don't build up more fear because of I know it's so scary, but don't build up more fear because of it. That's what keeps you stuck in it for five, ten years. In my case was building up anxiety with drinking alcohol. All these hangover acting. Alcohol creates an astronomical 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 amount of anxiety after you come down off it. And I really didn't realize it at first. It took me a while. And then I researched it and all this good stuff. And so that's what's more than likely keeping me deeper sometimes. Even though I'm so much better. I'm like 90% recovered. Okay? You can recover too. You just have to get out. Keep your mind occupied. Stay healthy. Eat healthy. Exercise. Believe in yourself. Just try to stay positive. Okay? It gets better. Alright? I'll try to make another depersonalization video. Um, this one was just spur of the moment. So I'm probably all over the place. I just hope that you watching this makes you feel better because I know that watching other people talk about it and say positive things about it made me feel better. So that's my main goal. Hoping that somebody watched this and felt better for the eight minutes, however long this video is. Okay? So I know I'm all over the place. I'm sorry. Stay positive. You can do this. You can recover. You can get better. Do it! Do it! Have a good day, everybody.